G'day, today in episode 484 of Trent 365, when does a half truth become a lie? So a bit of a heavy one to finish on this week. When does a half truth become a lie? Well, I think it becomes a lie whenever a lack of the total truth causes somebody else to invest, whether that's time, money, resource, effort, reputation, invest in something that they otherwise would not have had they known the full story. And I think it's particularly relevant to people in this industry because let's face it, the spa industry over the years has had a reputation of not necessarily telling the whole story, not lying, but not necessarily maybe sharing the full story. And I think that happens particularly in nascent in industries that are new, that are, are starting up. And I think we're going down that road now with wellness in a lot of ways, because wellness is a little bit unknown, a little bit subjective. A lot of people are ch sort of cherry picking the facts that they like to put out there rather than necessarily telling the whole story and let the, let the cards fall where they may. And this whole idea of basically not telling the full story, the full truth, it's something that's, that's come out with the company I'm dealing with at the moment, been in conversations with them for a few months now, and for all intents and purposes, everything was above board. In recent weeks, I've come to realize they're not telling me the whole story. Not necessarily lying to anything that I've asked them yet, but they're not telling me the full story. The net impact on me is that I'm putting time, effort, money, not money, time, effort, resource, reputation, certainly, into these discussions when I wouldn't be doing that if I knew the full story, at least not now. I might in the future, but the way it sits right now, based on what I know now, I wouldn't be putting the same amount of effort in. So in effect, by not telling me the full story at this point in time, the way I look at it, they're lying to me, even though they're not actually lying to me. Does that make sense? I think it's important to think about as we roll into this world of wellness that we're all embarking on, because there'll be a lot of people out there maybe cherry picking facts, cherry picking bits of information, and not necessarily telling the full story. To me, as soon as you're asking someone to invest time, money, effort, resource, reputation in something without giving them the full story, when giving them the full story would cause them not to do that, that to me is a lie. What do you reckon? Let me know. Alrighty, that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in. I will be back again tomorrow. See ya. That's all right because love